All right, here goes. This is a demonstration of a transistor as a switch. Let me take you through this now. Uh, this is connected to the long of the LED. The LED is connected to the 330 ohm resistor. The resistor is connected to the collector and the collector is connected to ground. So right now this is considered a semiconductor. It's kind of like a semiconducting material and when it reaches a certain threshold in the middle it will let electrons flow. So how do we do that? Well this, you've got this 1K or 1000 ohm resistor that comes across, connects to this red wire, which is connected to our famous A switch, right? So can you see it there? A, and there's the switch. So right now it's idling, and in order to make it conduct, you've got to throw 5 volts across the center connection. And there you go. There's the 5 volts, and it goes on and off. So we're going to build one together, okay? Okay, hang on, check it out. All right, so here it goes. Connect this wire to the main voltage, which is always on. Say we'll connect it here. We'll take the LED. Notice which one's long. This one's longer, right? So it connects it like so. I will take a 330 ohm resistor and connect it. That should go. All right, and then what you do is here's the 330 ohm resistor. I will connect the collector, which is this one here, along to it with the 330 ohm resistor. I will complete a connection so that the transistor will be idling. So I'll connect it. Let's not use this one. I'll use uh, black. Black is usually pretty good. If you keep the same colors and stuff, you'll know what's going on to ground. All right, so I've got the red one here. Connects on the LED, 330 ohm resistor, connected on the col um, collector. The emitter is, collect is connected to the ground. Now I'm going to take the 1000 ohm resistor and I will connect it to the center. Bear with me. There you go. And there I'll connect that one. Make sure there's no shorts. Let me just have a look. Connect it to the center. Now what you do is you take the 1000 ohm part and you connect it to the A switch. Right there. Alright, so let's check to see if I'm back to what I had before. Alright, so this is good. I have to do some troubleshooting and we'll figure out what I did. I think I missed this wire here. I can see it at a glance. Let's try that. Okay, check some more. I did some checking. Sometimes things don't necessarily work right away. So be careful and uh, be patient mostly. I just actually moved this transistor up here and I think it was a loose connection. This was not connected properly so this is called troubleshooting. So as you can see we're back to where we were. We're putting 5 volts across the middle. When it reaches that it's a stage where it does conduct. Otherwise if there's no voltage it's still working but it doesn't conduct. So hopefully you're noticing that when it comes to transistor and it's different than a switch because the switch doesn't require any voltage and uh, conducts you know, just as soon as you trigger the switch. But this thing is a variable resistor. What it does is it allows some 
uh, vo uh, some resistance to zero to a certain amount when it's at the maximum. So watch the LED as I keep moving it here. Uh, eventually the LED should go on. Okay, so you know what? I, I, I kind of like this because I have a bad connection. Uh, there. See now, see how it's going dimmer? And all of a sudden, it's brighter. Oh, yeah. Notice how it acts like a switch because a transistor requires a certain voltage to, to start conducting. And when I reach it, bang, it goes on. It's really not quite as good as I would like it to be. It should be, look more like a switch, but nevertheless it shows you the resistor and how it works. And I'll show you a little something uh, with the resistor. Maybe Ms. Wu can help me to do the demo. So we'll be right back. I'll show you a variable resistor. Oh, I wanted to show you uh, the variable resistor. Notice the ohm meter is saying zero, eh? So watch carefully. Try not to knock it over, but as I do this, look. So it's increasing the value of resistance. Now the resistance at the maximum, 9K. Watch, I'll turn, I'll go, turn it. And now I'm reducing, just like a tap uh, in your sink, all right? Now you're not, let, you know, you're letting a whole bunch of water flow, whoosh, a whole bunch of electrons. If you go like this, you're, you're stopping it. Now the electrons have to go through 9K ohms of stuff, so an example of a variable resistor, and that's what this is right there.